Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're doing a little hair review. So, Seven Magic recently sent me their newest addition to the heat styling tools. This is the Seven Magic Wet to Dry Flat Iron. So if you guys want to see how I created this sleek and stylish look with this beautiful flat iron and want to hear a little bit more about it, then just make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and join my Big Beauty YouTube family. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Show your support. Show the love. Share it with friends. And leave a comment and let me know if you guys liked this hairstyle. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers, as always. This video is sponsored by 7 Magic. They recently sent me their wet to dry straight iron to try out and review and do a little video for you guys. So I'm really super excited. As you guys always know, it's 100% authentic, 100% honest over here on my channel. I do not lie to you guys. I would never give you false information. I do my best to do my research and all my education. I'm not going to give you guys something that's not going to work for you. And just remember also what may work for me may still not work for you even if you have the same type of concerns. If you guys are interested in purchasing the 7 Magic Hair Straightener, the link will be down in the description box below as well as any other products mentioned in this video. So today I'm testing out this iron on my damp hair. I've just sprayed my hair with water and I'm now adding in a heat protectant which I always do when working with heat styling tools. I'm using the Kim Kimball Healthy Hair Repair Renew Blockbuster Heat Protectant and I'm just spraying this evenly throughout the hair to reduce any damage. Now I'm starting to section off the hair. You can use a clip, pin, or scrunchie to hold the remaining hair in place. To get a really sleek and shiny style, I like to brush the sectioned hair to take out any knots or tangles. I'm using the Caraco Detangler Tangle Buster Styler which features ion technology and boron nylon bristles to reduce frizz and add shine. This straightener features an on and off power switch, display lights, and a temperature wheel which you can adjust according to your hair type. The most interesting thing about this iron is its steam ventilation. The spaces or holes on each side are designed to release the steam from damp hair to give conditioned hair and cause way less and almost no damage at all. It also helps for a faster drying time and eliminates excess heat resulting in higher heat levels for better results. Since my hair is wavy and on the thicker side, 410 degrees is suitable for me, but this baby can go all the way up to 450 degrees. It also comes with a heat glove and I'm glad it did because they were not playing when they said this thing gets hot. Another feature of this iron that's pretty new to me are the nano titanium plates. These plates conduct ultra high heat for pin straight styles that last longer. They make great for less passes through the hair resulting in a faster styling time and leave the hair silky and full of shine. Not only does the steam ventilation help with less hair damage, the plates do too. This iron also consists of MCH heating which means no hot spots or uneven heat distribution. Each time you make a pass through the hair the iron quickly returns back to the desired temperature. There's even what's called all directional floating plates and to simplify this means that the plates on the iron aren't built in flat. They are made to move slightly while styling to reach every last strand of hair for again less styling time, less tugging and less passes through the hair. The 1.7 inch plates make it great for longer hair and larger sections of hair. The design of this iron is amazing as well. It has a beautiful metallic blue color and the iron itself is actually pretty compact. It's very thin compared to others I've tried and I was a little worried about it being flimsy but it wasn't. It felt really durable and sturdy and also felt really comfortable to hold and maneuver while styling. I didn't feel like this was excessively tugging or pulling at my hair and it actually glides really smooth. The 360 degree swivel cord is a must in my tools because I hate mess and tangle cords. In case you're a person who's a bit forgetful or get busy, there's also a 60 minute auto shut off time. This flat iron is truly all you need and more and it's definitely going to save some time on straightening and dry time. I've used a wet to dry straight iron before from Remington and it was absolutely amazing but this one has so many more features. 
I've gotten the chance to work with Seven Magic on two other occasions for their hot hair brushes, which were really cool. Out of the total of three times working with them, my favorite tool so far would have to be this wet to dry iron. You can find this iron on Amazon on sale for $39.99 right now. Plus, there's a $6 coupon that you can clip to make it $32 and change. Honestly, for the value, this tool is pretty dope. I've always been able to get my hair pretty sleek and straight, but something about this one really made a difference in my hair. If you have an Amazon Prime account, even better. You can get two day free shipping. If you really think about it, this is like a hybrid tool. It's hair care and hairstyling all in one. If you guys aren't familiar with temperatures for certain hair types, then listen up. 290 to 370 degrees Fahrenheit is for fine, thin, and normal textured hair. 371 to 410 is for wavy and curly types, while 411 to 450 is for coarse and thicker hair types. Also, I forgot to mention what the two indicator lights on the side are for. The one closer to the temperature gauge is the temperature light. This lets you know when your iron is at the right temperature you have set it to. The one closer to the power is the power light. Easy to remember, right? As you guys can see, my hair is looking real official, like we just stepped out the salon. I have a few small sections left, so we're just going to finish that off. I also did want to mention that this can get really close to the scalp because it's not as bulky or thick. I'm able to reach all of my baby hairs with minimum effort, unlike most tools I've tried. Even though this video is sped up, you can see for yourself the easy glide with each pass. Do keep in mind to not hold the iron so close to your face or head because it releases steam, you can get burned if you're using it incorrectly. I find it helpful to face the steamers down, not up, and to pull away from the scalp, which you should do anyway if you want volume at the roots. My hair is very long, down to my butt, and it would have only took half an hour to do my whole head if I wasn't filming. Now I'm just adding in some product to tame down any frizz or flyaways and add protection and shine. This is the Tricochi Smoothing Serum. You can use any other hair oil or serum or whatever works best for you. From here we are done. This is our final look, our hair transformation. I hope you all enjoyed this review and tutorial and if you did please show your support and give me a huge thumbs up and share the video. Also comment and let me know if you'll be purchasing this anytime soon. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on weekly beauty tutorials and reviews. And again, any product mentions will be listed below. I'll see you guys back here next Thursday as always. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.